All right, welcome back on site with Tucson RV Solar. You can see we got the trailer out down at the KOA today and getting to work on this Alliance fifth wheel paradigm, as you can see right here. another 800 watts up top for the existing 400 watts that the customer had uh, inside the front compartment standard where the lead acid batteries used to be customers already upgraded to an SOK 280 amp hour battery one of the self-heated options with Bluetooth uh, he's actually gonna add another one to that uh, it's not here yet so we're gonna prep the space for him but different than other fifth wheels we're not doing everything up here we're actually gonna move everything in here so you can see where we've already prepped the area. And in here, we've got the frame ready for the batteries to move. That's actually our next step. We're gonna move that single battery there right now. And when he gets his second battery, he'll be able to actually just move that one piece over to the left and put them in parallel. We've got all the cables ready to go for him. Um, the board is all gonna be right here. And we are making that board as we speak. So with that, I'll take you in here. where we've already got all the cables made and now just wiring up the board right now and Todd is making it all happen he's doing the actual torques according to Victron specifications now so you can see the ground wire coming out already wired in the solar charge controller and the two gauge cable that's a jumper that's going to the front for our 12 volt section and the rest of it's going to go through this conduit into the inverter. So we're pre-wiring all the inverter except for the AC out cable, which we'll do once it's actually in place. Uh, able to add a little diamond plate behind this. So keeping it nice and cool underneath and makes for a great connection. So it's going to be a great looking install when we're complete. More to follow. All right, here we are on top of the roof. You can see Same concept for max production. So here in the belly, we've got our final of the install. Looks nice and clean with the SOK battery behind there. Currently 280 amp hours. Going to add another 280 once they pick it up. That's coming in through the Class T fuse. So 400 amps there and then into the Lynx distributor via the shutoff. Uh, from the roof, we got solar going through the breaker, and then all that controlled by uh, the 150-85 smart controller. Uh, controlling their MultiPlus 2 2x120 with that smart dongle, dongle down there. Uh, so basically running the entire setup with their phone. So at the end of the day, nice and clean. We even capped off the hole that was there from the previous solar controller that the manufacturer put in. But good to go and ready to go dry camping.